personally, and I like to move them a lot down so they're a bit more subtle. As you notice, I have to do a lot of rotating and then re-rotating it to the same place. It gets a little bit annoying, and I never know if I'm rotating it exactly to the right place that it started in. So, add a camera, and click on the white box next to the camera, so you're seeing out of the camera. You can click a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, and a keyframe at the end of the timeline. So this way the camera locks on. So... Make sure you don't have your camera selected so nothing's even selected. And just rotate it like that and then zoom out in some crazy way. I think I just might have zoomed out too much. Oops. Yeah, but just rotate and then zoom out in some crazy way. And then all you have to do is click on the timeline and it gets you back to your uh, starting angle. Anyway, let's get back into editing the extra NURBS or your logo. Also, guys, as you're watching this tutorial, if you use this tutorial and you can make yourself a good logo, I'd really appreciate it. I don't think anyone's going to actually do this, but if you will, just please send a post a video response to this with like an intro or logo you made with this tutorial because I'm kind of curious to see what you guys are making. And uh, on some of my intros, I do kind of a double outline. I re-outline the outline, if you know what I mean. On a logo, it looks kind of cool, so I'll show you guys how to do that. You're gonna go into your four views and choose the front view again, and you're gonna use the beezer, which can be found in the spline object. <coughs> and then I'm just gonna do a rough outline, but it's not gonna be perfect. But just connect the dots, move them around a little bit, and just outline this. It's pretty easy for this one because it doesn't have any curves, it's always easier to outline something doesn't have curves in it. So I'm gonna do a quick kind of rough outline, nothing too great because I just want to get you guys the main idea. But as I said, there's no really easy way to explain the beezer except it's connected dots. So just click on the next spot that you want the outline to have. And it has to connect at the end. It has to connect back to your first dot. So just be following along or if you don't want to do a second outline around it you can just sit there bored while I'm doing this oops that was off okay, good enough so now go back into your four views and click the top left view the one that you use has pretty much all angles. You're going to add another extra nerve, so click on this and click extra nerves and drag the spline into the extra nerve so you get that down arrow. And then you're going to, if you see that little line, the minimize sign, you're going to click on, uh, let me climb this. Uh, you're going to click the minimize. Let me just quit that chat. Yeah, you're going to minimize this. So you're not accidentally clicking on the spline because that will mess you up. So I like to center that, put it right in the middle. And maybe if you click on the object, give it a bit more depth. And adding a cap on this one is uh, optional. So now let's go ahead and render this and see how it looks. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot. Uh, if you don't have a light on, Global illumination and ambient occlusion won't work. So let's just add a light and go into our uh, probably our uh, top view and just drag it forward and then go into this view again. See how it looks. All right, so there we go, guys. Well, pretty nice render. You can see how the shadows uh, from the outline going on to kind of the back outline. Uh, yeah, so I think that looks pretty nice. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along the tutorial. And before I wrap it up, I'll just be showing you guys some nice materials you can add on to it and some uh, standard materials I use for outlines. So double-click in the Materials tab, double-click on that so you get the material thing to open up. 
for this uh, main thing, not the back outline, but just the main outline, I usually like choosing a bright color for that. So let's try yellow, because I barely ever use yellow. I'm going to check off some luminance and make sure the luminance color kind of matches the original color. Just drag that luminance down to around 50%. Check off reflection, maybe add a nice Fresnel reflection, and drag down the brightness to about 13, and then mix strength maybe 50. I don't know. Whatever works. So drag it in there. And on this run, I'm not going to render in the full thing. I'm just going to render in the quarter screen because it's a quicker render. Actually, before we do that, let's just add a back backing material or the back outline so double click and add a new material to make this kind of a dark gray almost black with maybe four percent reflection or six percent reflection drag that onto the back of it and let's render this out maybe before I do that make the light give it a little bit less intensity because it might have been a little bit too intense before so let's render that out see what we get can see it's a much quicker render because it's only rendering a quarter of the screen but I can still see it fine hopefully so can you guys Alright, there it is, guys. That's pretty much the final product. Uh, hopefully, you guys were able to follow along. Uh, leave me some feedback in the comments. And please like, uh, thumbs up the video, because that helps it get more views. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, because uh, I, I want to try to become a partner. So, if you guys watch my tutorials and make sure you get a lot of views, that will help out our chances. Anyway, guys, let's end this right now so it fits the YouTube 15-minute whatever. So thanks for watching, and that's your tutorial.